so I'm excited uh, because this week we're releasing the 2015 version of Livermore's energy flowcharts. Livermore has been producing these flowcharts and publishing them since the mid-1970s. And this is uh, just the latest in a long series of, uh, of charts that encompass most of what we really need to know about the U.S. energy system. We do energy charts. We've done uh, charts of water use in the U.S. We've done charts of the carbon emissions related to energy use. So the chart is generally read from left to right. On the left hand side are our energy resources, wind and solar, nuclear energy, coal, oil, and natural gas. And energy flows from those resources through our energy system. As you can see, uh, we use lots of different kinds of energy to create electricity. And then that electricity is combined, um, again, with those other resources to power our homes, our businesses, our cars and trucks. And finally, the chart depicts how much energy is put to good use in those areas and how much of the energy passes through as rejected energy to the environment. We're always asked, what is rejected energy? Rejected energy is the portion of energy uh, that goes into a process that comes out generally as waste heat to the environment. So if you can think of the total amount of energy that goes into your car's gas tank, a certain amount of that goes to drive the wheels forward. That's an energy service. The energy that comes out as heat transfer from your radiator or energy in the hot exhaust out the tailpipe, that's rejected energy. This year the chart doesn't look all that much different than it did last year. We actually used just a little bit less energy here in the U.S in 2015 than we did in 2014. We continue to grow our use of solar energy and wind energy, um, and in particular, we are using a lot more natural gas and a lot less coal uh, than we have in previous years. All of the statistics reported on this flowchart are in quads, which are quadrillion BTUs. And as a matter of scale, um, 3,600 BTUs is about a kilowatt hour. You probably pay between 10 and 15 cents for that on your electric bill. So of the 11 quadrillion BTUs of energy used in homes, each person uses about 36 million. If you want to learn more about this story, and don't forget to subscribe.